Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Maher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Ryan Warner from Toronto. Hi Ryan, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. Thanks for having me, Maher. Thank you for being here. So Ryan, he leads organizations, teams and individuals to overcome challenges and maximize success through innovative professional development strategies. He empowers corporate professionals to master a multitude of approaches and communication styles to achieve desired outcome. And as a professional educator himself, Ryan helps prepare higher education students to transition into their careers. So that's what we're going to talk about and provide them with skills and tools to achieve professional success. So Ryan, my first question for you is in terms of communication and telling stories, we know that uh, that's very key, especially during the interview time. So in that sense, do you have any tips on how students can prepare their stories when they go to an interview? And we know that usually it's about tell me about it this time or describe time you had weakness or working with teams. So how can they prepare those stories? That's a great question uh, to, to lead off with. I think that's a two part answer, I would say. And the first part to really understand and come to terms with is that you will be expected to share your experiences in the form of stories mm -hmm. uh, during an interview and sometimes it won't be as direct as tell me about a time when mm -hmm. uh, the question might be phrased as you, you mentioned um, what's a weakness you're working on or something of to that nature and and you'll be expected to identify it and then share an experience whereby you're illustrating the weakness and how you've overcome it, et cetera. So just be aware that every question, nearly every question that's being asked of you, the best answer will come with, uh, from you will come with an experience and a story. Now, when it comes to sharing the stories and actually delivering it, what you wanna do is in advance to think about what types of stories can you share that not only illustrate that you have the skills or that you have the ability to hit the criteria they're looking for, but you also wanna be able to show or demonstrate during the story that you're a great team player, that you're accountable, that you have great communication skills, uh, you keep others apprised of what's happening. And that's, we, we call that professionalism or being polished in, in my line of work. And that those are, are things you can sprinkle in here and there just by adding in an extra phrase or two, like, and I, I was sure to keep my manager posted on what happens, or I was sure to loop in my colleague because they were going to be associating with this person next, for example. And I always tell my clients, make sure that you link it to the job and don't forget at the very end. And this is what I can bring to the table, or this is what I can do if I'm hired for this job. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes that's that you're right. We, we take that for granted sometimes, but but you're right. A lot of folks now, especially the younger generation who's who's coming into their first and second round of interviews. I mean, the nerves hit us and we forget to say those words at the end. But that's right. It's, it's important to let them know. Yeah. So thank you for those great tips, Ryan. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Ryan a couple of questions and I'm going to post them during the whole week. Kind of a journey with us. You can like all the videos, share your ideas, share your thoughts. So tune in next time for another great question with Ryan.